In mathematics, particularly in algebraic geometry, complex analysis and number theory, an abelian variety is a projective algebraic variety that is also an algebraic group, i.e., has a group law that can be defined by regular functions. Abelian varieties are at the same time among the most studied objects in algebraic geometry and indispensable tools for much research on other topics. In algebraic geometry and number theory, an abelian variety can be defined by equations having coefficients in any field. The variety is then said to be defined over that field. Historically the first abelian varieties to be studied were those defined over the field of complex numbers. Such abelian varieties turn out to be exactly those complex tori that can be embedded into a complex projective space. Abelian varieties defined over algebraic number fields are a special case, which is important also from the viewpoint of number theory. Since a number field is the fraction field of a Dedekind domain, for any non-zero prime of your Dedekind domain, there is a map from the Dedekind domain to the quotient of the Dedekind domain by the prime, which is a finite field for all finite primes. This induces a map from the fraction field to any such finite field. Given a curve with equation defined over the number field, we can apply this map to the coefficients to get a curve defined over some finite field, where the choices of finite field correspond to the finite primes of the number field. Abelian varieties appear naturally as Jacobian varieties and Albanese varieties of other algebraic varieties. The group law of an abelian variety is necessarily commutative and the variety is non-singular. An elliptic curve is an abelian variety of dimension 1. Abelian varieties have code error dimension 0. History and motivation In the early 19th century, the theory of elliptic functions succeeded in giving a basis for the theory of elliptic integrals, and this left open an obvious avenue of research. The standard forms for elliptic integrals involved the square roots of cubic and quartic polynomials, when those were replaced by polynomials of higher degree, say quintics, what would happen? In the work of Niels Abel and Carl Jacobi, the answer was formulated. This would involve functions of two complex variables, having four independent periods. This gave the first glimpse of an abelian variety of dimension 2, what would now be called the Jacobian of a hyperelliptic curve of genus 2. After Abel and Jacobi, some of the most important contributors to the theory of abelian functions were Riemann, Weierstrass, Frobenius, Poincaré and Picard. The subject was very popular at the time, already having a large literature. By the end of the 19th century, mathematicians had begun to use geometric methods in the study of abelian functions. Eventually, in the 1920s, Lefschetz laid the basis for the study of abelian functions in terms of complex tori. He also appears to be the first to use the name of abelian variety. It was André Weil in the 1940s who gave the subject its modern foundations in the language of algebraic geometry. Today, abelian varieties form an important tool in number theory, in dynamical systems, and in algebraic geometry. Analytic theory Definition A complex torus of dimension G is a torus of real dimension 2 grams that carries the structure of a complex manifold. It can always be obtained as the quotient of a g-dimensional complex vector space by a lattice of rank 2 grams. A complex abelian variety of dimension G is a complex torus of dimension G that is also a projective algebraic variety over the field of complex numbers. Since they are complex tori, abelian varieties carry the structure of a group. Amorphism of abelian varieties is a morphism of the underlying algebraic varieties that preserves the identity element for the group structure. And isogeny is a finite to one morphism. When a complex torus carries the structure of an algebraic variety, this structure is necessarily unique. 
In the case g equals 1, the notion of abelian variety is the same as that of elliptic curve, and every complex torus gives rise to such a curve. For g greater than 1 it has been known since Riemann that the algebraic variety condition imposes extra constraints on a complex torus. Riemann conditions the following criterion by Riemann decides whether or not a given complex torus is an abelian variety, i.e., whether or not it can be embedded into a projective space. Let x be a g-dimensional torus given as x equals v, l where v is a complex vector space of dimension g and l is a lattice in v. Then x is an abelian variety if and only if there exists a positive definite Hermitian form on v whose imaginary part takes integral values on l times l. Such a form on X is usually called a Riemann form. Choosing a basis for V and all, one can make this condition more explicit. There are several equivalent formulations of this, all of them are known as the Riemann conditions. The Jacobian of an algebraic curve Every algebraic curve C of genus G1 is associated with an abelian variety J of dimension G, by means of an analytic map of C into J. As a torus, J carries a commutative group structure, and the image of C generates J as a group. More accurately, J is covered by C. Any point in J comes from a G tuple of points in C. The study of differential forms on C, which give rise to the abelian integrals with which the theory started, can be derived from the simpler translation invariant theory of differentials on J. The abelian variety J is called the Jacobian variety of C, for any non-singular curve C over the complex numbers. From the point of view of birational geometry, its function field is the fixed field of the symmetric group on G letters acting on the function field of CG. Abelian functions An abelian function is a meromorphic function on an abelian variety, which may be regarded therefore as a periodic function of n complex variables, having two n independent periods, equivalently. It is a function in the function field of an abelian variety. For example, in the 19th century there was much interest in hyperelliptic integrals that may be expressed in terms of elliptic integrals. This comes down to asking that J is a product of elliptic curves, up to an isogeny. Algebraic definition Two equivalent definitions of abelian variety over a general field K are commonly in use. A connected and complete algebraic group over K. A connected and projective algebraic group over K. When the base is the field of complex numbers, these notions coincide with the previous definition. Over all bases, elliptic curves are abelian varieties of dimension 1. In the early 1940s, Weil used the first definition but could not at first prove that it implied the second. Only in 1948 did he prove that complete algebraic groups can be embedded into projective space. Meanwhile, in order to make the proof of the Riemann hypothesis for curves over finite fields that he had announced in 1940 work, he had to introduce the notion of an abstract variety and to rewrite the foundations of algebraic geometry to work with varieties without projective embeddings structure of the group of points. By the definitions, an abelian variety is a group variety. Its group of points can be proven to be commutative for C, and hence by the Lefschetz principle for every algebraically closed field of characteristic zero. The torsion group of an abelian variety of dimension G is isomorphic to 2 grams. Hence, its end torsion part is isomorphic to 2 grams, i.e., the product of 2 grams copies of the cyclic group of order n. When the base field is an algebraically closed field of characteristic p, the end torsion is still isomorphic to 2 grams when n and p are coprime. When n and p are not coprime, the same result can be recovered provided one interprets it as saying that the end torsion defines a finite flat group scheme of rank 2 grams. If instead of looking at the full scheme structure on the end torsion, one considers only the geometric points, 
one obtains a new invariant for varieties in characteristic p. The group of k rational points for a global field k is finitely generated by the more Delvile theorem, hence, by the structural theorem for finitely generated abelian groups. It is isomorphic to a product of a free abelian group Zr and a finite commutative group for some non-negative integer r called the rank of the abelian variety. Similar results hold for some other classes of fields K. Products The product of an abelian variety A of dimension M and an abelian variety B of dimension N over the same field is an abelian variety of dimension M plus N. An abelian variety is simple if it is not isogenous to a product of abelian varieties of lower dimension. Any abelian variety is isogenous to a product of simple abelian varieties. Polarization and dual abelian variety Dual abelian variety to an abelian variety A over a field K, one associates a dual abelian variety of, which is the solution to the following moduli problem. A family of degree zero line bundles parametrized by a K variety T is defined to be a line bundle L on A times T such that for all T in T, the restriction of L to A times T is a degree zero line bundle. The restriction of L to 0 times T is a trivial line bundle. Then there is a variety of and a family of degree 0 line bundles P, the Poincaré bundle, parametrized by AV such that a family L on T is associated a unique morphism F. T F so that L is isomorphic to the pullback of P along the morphism 1 A times F, A times T A times AV. Applying this to the case when T is a point, we see that the points of AV correspond to line bundles of degree 0 on A. So there is a natural group operation on AV given by a tensor product of line bundles, which makes it into an abelian variety. This association is a duality in the sense that there is a natural isomorphism between the double dual A, B, V and A and that it is contravariant, functorial, i.e., it associates two all morphisms F, a B dual morphisms F, V, B, V, AV in a compatible way. The N torsion of an abelian variety and the N torsion of its dual are dual to each other when N is co-prime to the characteristic of the base. In general, for all n, the n-torsion group schemes of dual abelian varieties are Cartier duals of each other. This generalizes the vial pairing for elliptic curves. Polarizations A polarization of an abelian variety is an isogeny from an abelian variety to its dual that is symmetric with respect to double duality. For abelian varieties and for which the pullback of the Poincaré bundle along the associated graph morphism is ample, polarized abelian varieties have finite automorphism groups. A principal polarization is a polarization that is an isomorphism. Jacobians of curves are naturally equipped with a principal polarization as soon as one picks an arbitrary rational base point on the curve, and the curve can be reconstructed from its polarized Jacobian when the genus is greater than 1. Not all principally polarized abelian varieties are Jacobians of curves. See the shock key problem. A polarization induces a row Zati involution on the endomorphism ring of A. Polarizations over the complex numbers over the complex numbers. A polarized abelian variety can also be defined as an abelian variety A together with a choice of a Riemann form H. Two Riemann forms H1 and H2 are called equivalent if there are positive integers n and m such that n H1 equals m H2. A choice of an equivalence class of Riemann forms on A is called a polarization of A. Amorphism of polarized abelian varieties is a morphism A B of abelian varieties such that the pullback of the Riemann form on B to A is equivalent to the given form on A. Abelian scheme. One can also define abelian varieties scheme theoretically and relative to a base. This allows for a uniform treatment of phenomena such as reduction mod p of abelian varieties and parameter families of abelian varieties. An abelian scheme over a base scheme S of relative dimension G is a proper 
smooth group scheme over S whose geometric fibers are connected and of dimension G. The fibers of an abelian scheme are abelian varieties. So one could think of an abelian scheme over S as being a family of abelian varieties parametrized by S. Semi-abelian variety. A semi-abelian variety is a commutative group variety which is an extension of an abelian variety by a torus.